Welcome to episode three of Breakfast Casa Lagoon Style with Chef Sarah. And today we're going to talk about the waffle, the very popular waffle at Casa Laguna. And we change it seasonally. And so this season I asked our youngest cook, Quentin, to create the waffle for us. And boy, did he bring it to the table. It's a great waffle. People are really enjoying it. Um, I thought it'd be very cool to have Quentin come into the kitchen and show you how to make it. So he's going to show you the pumpkin pie spice waffle the ginger candied nuts, ginger whipped cream, cinnamon syrup, and house-made fig jam. So let's join Quentin in the kitchen and learn. Welcome to the Cost Laguna Kitchen. Today we're gonna to start off with our cinnamon syrup. So when I was making the waffle, I wanted to make a little bit of a different type of syrup. So I wanted to make a cinnamon type of syrup and I played around with just powdered cinnamon at first and I found out that in the end, it would turn out a little bit cloudy and really really strong because you would get clumps of cinnamon no matter how much you blended it together. So I found that if you take cinnamon sticks, break them up, and then add around three cups of maple syrup, turn your heat on to medium, and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. It'll extract the cinnamon flavor, and then in your end product you'll have a very clear cinnamon syrup. So once it's has simmered, make sure not to have this boiling over. That will burn the sugars in the syrup. It's just a bad product in the end. It's extremely messy to clean up. And once it's cooled, you'll strain it through um, whatever type of strainer or sieve you have. And then cinnamon syrup is ready. So now we're going to make the whipped cream. And we've already poured our ginger cream mix in here. You'll use two cups of heavy cream, one teaspoon of ginger, and two teaspoons of powdered sugar. Before you put it in the ISI itself, what you want to do is whisk it in a bowl and make sure there, that there's no clumps in there. Any sort of clump or any sort of clog will prohibit this from working, so that's a huge thing to look out for. To commence charging this, you want to take your cap and make sure it's completely clean on the inside. Then take your seal, make sure that fits snug around, because this will help prevent the air from leaking, and that's really crucial for keeping this its nice stiff form. When it's snug, pull it even tighter, make sure it's nice and tight. You really don't want any air to get through. So to turn this into the whipped cream, we create magic. We take a cream charger and put it in this capsule. And you'll screw it on until you feel a little bit of resistance. Once you feel that, it's time to go really fast. So then you'll give it a couple shakes after you hear the hiss. and then release it. Once you release it, you'll hear a little bit of air come out, and that's okay. Just make sure you don't have too much air escaping because that means it didn't work out too well. Put the silver cap back on, and then take a star tip of your choosing. The ISI usually comes with around two or three um, caps. Choose whichever one you like. and then test it out. Perfect. To make the actual waffle batter, what we do is we combine the dry ingredients separately from the wet ingredients. And the reason we do that is to incorporate all the dry together. We want them really nice and seasoned throughout. And then since we use eggs in the waffle batter, we want those really mixed thoroughly, make sure there won't be any little clumps of yolks from whites and then we'll add our pumpkin puree and then combine the ingredients together. So starting off, we'll add ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. So we'll mix that. We'll whisk this just for a bit. Make sure everything is combined. And now we have almost this brown looking type of flour. So we'll just set this off for later and then begin on the wet ingredients. So in here we have six eggs. What you want to do is make sure you whisk these really nicely.
add your pumpkin puree. You really make sure to mix this one thoroughly. This pumpkin puree likes to just clump up and you don't want any clumps in your mix up waffle batter. That looks good, it's nice and smooth, no more clumpings. And add your milk. Again, whisk until thoroughly combined. And you have this nice liquid. Now it's time to make magic. So then, You'll add all your dry ingredients. And just mix until it becomes a little stiffer. This one can be tricky. Make sure you constantly scrape the very bottom and sides of the bowl. What you'll find is that you'll end up mixing this. You'll pour it into your waffle batter and then you'll find white clumps that are just unmixed pieces of flour in your mixture and those get really nasty. Check your texture, consistency, bring it up, and that's the waffle batter. So we use a double-sided waffle maker to make our waffles here over at Casa. Sometimes they get really popular, so we have to pump them out as quickly as possible. So um, some waffles need a quick spray down before you use them. Just follow the manufacturer's guide. Some need it, some don't. This one doesn't, which is nice. So we lift them up, put in the waffle batter, which is thick. <laughs> Make sure you spread it around. Close it and turn. Do the same on the other side. And they should cook and finish it around the same time. So when the waffles are done, slowly bring up the lid. These are very delicate. Make sure you just take your fork around the lip and slowly lift up the waffle. You don't want it ripping on you last minute. So now we're going to plate up the waffle like we would serve it to our guests. So we'll start off sprinkling some powdered sugar on it. Just give it a little bit more sweetness. Cut it into fours. And arrange it on the plate. Try to get these to overlap as much as you can. Then we'll take a little spread of our fig jam. We make this in-house, but you can buy your little favorite fig spread anywhere you want. The quick swipe. Add your figs, the mint leaf, slit that lay. Then we add our own candied nuts, which you make specially for this waffle. But any candied nut you like will work. This gives a really good textural difference. I just like to add the cinnamon syrup straight from the pot because it's so good, I don't want to wait for it. Just give that a drizzle. And we'll finish it off with the ginger whipped cream.
It's good, it's crunchy, it's thick, it's warm, it's light, and I can't wait to dig in.